All right, in order to make your nicho, you're going to need two pieces of cardboard that are the same size, a marker, an X-Acto blade with the cap, a ruler, and a pencil. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to create the the base form here that we can fold up and hot glue together. So to do that, make sure my space is cleared. I'm just gonna do the width of the ruler. Now, if you want the sides to be taller, you need to measure those up more. Okay, but for me, I'm just gonna use the width of the ruler. So I lined it up to the outside edge of my cardboard, made sure that it was straight and drew a line. And I'm gonna do that around each of the four sides. Just making sure that it's consistent from side to side. All right, now with each of my four corners here, I'm going to add a blue line. And the blue line is gonna be the spot that I cut all the way through, whereas the pencil line is gonna be where I just score it. Now, if you wanna use a ruler with your X-Acto blade, you can definitely do that. For me, it just seems to complicate things. So I'm going to just score, which means I'm not pushing through both layers of cardboard, just pushing through one. I can tell the difference because it kind of feels like my knife is like blah, 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 blah. Whereas if I'm cutting the whole way through, I'm touching the board on the bottom. So that was a score. So here's a straight up cut through. Okay, I can tell. If it didn't go all the way through, I can flip it over onto the back and kind of reinforce that line. But I'm only cutting the whole way through on the blue lines. Otherwise, I'm just scoring. So I'm gonna score this side now. So scoring means cutting it, but not trying to cut the whole way through. Now I'm on a blue line, so I'm gonna go through two times, check it on the back, that's cut the whole way through. I'm gonna score this way. Okay, and then I need to really cut those two sides. So now they're all scored. So I've cut through the first layer of cardboard, but it's not cut the whole way through the back. Put my cap on my knife. You'll notice when I was using my knife, I was never cutting towards my hand. You always want to cut next to your hand. Okay, now that this is ready, I'm just going to fold it up lightly. I don't want to rip the cardboard off. So I'm just gently kind of folding. And then where I fully cut, that's going to be where these pieces can wrap around. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to be adding some hot glue on these four corners. So we're going to walk over to the hot glue gun station with your hot glue gun. These will burn your hands if you touch them, so you want to make sure that you don't touch them. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue here, close that corner off, just holding it with a finger, glue here. Now I'm not putting a ton of glue, I'm also making sure not to touch it with my hand, because that will burn me. Okay, so now those two are secure. Going to get some glue on this guy. Press and hold there, and then so now I have the niche that's gonna hold all the stuff inside. Okay, back over here. Now, this is gonna be the front part of my nicho, but I want my little box to be centered on top of it. And I'm gonna mark the corners. So I'm making sure it's centered and I'm marking those corners. Then I'm gonna lift my box up. Now, 
I need to scooch in just a little bit from these. Otherwise my uh, niche part will just fall right through. So you'll see that's where my line is. So I'm gonna scooch in and draw my line. Okay, so I'm not right up against the edges where I marked the corners, I'm scooching in about a centimeter. Okay, so again, scooching in about a centimeter. Lined up, scooch it in about a centimeter. I'm gonna look at this overall and see if that looks straight. And I'm gonna need to cut some of my designs here too. So I'm gonna kind of roughly put on here. Now I would have wanted to get a larger piece of cardboard for this outside piece if I wanted to have more decorative designs on it. And I'm just gonna kinda do some designs like that. Now, if I want it to be able to stand up straight, then I need to lose this down here. If I keep that on it, it'll be good for hanging because this piece will stick out. But if I don't want it to stick out, I want it to stand up, then I have to cut off this bottom part. So I'm gonna do that. So I get my X-Acto blade back out. I'm gonna start by cutting off that bottom piece. Okay, I'm cutting the whole way through. If I don't get the whole way through, I can flip it over and kind of release it on that back side. okay? Curve shapes are much harder to cut than shapes with straight lines. So that's why I'm choosing to do this little zigzag pattern. Okay, I wanna make sure that I give myself room here. You'll notice that I left about a centimeter between my design and my line, because if I don't, I'm gonna lose that stuff and it's all gonna start to fall off. So again, left like a centimeter. Okay, and I'm checking it and I'm seeing that I'm still kind of caught on the back, so I'm going back in with my knife. Okay, remember I'm not cutting towards my hands. So the last little part that's not coming through is this line, so I'm just gonna go back over the top of that. And if it's stuck, just go with my knife again. Sometimes I gotta go on both sides. All right, great success. Now I gotta get my other shapes cut out. Score it over the top of that. Need to go on the back. And so on and so forth. I would cut this the whole way out. Now let's say that you want a bigger design. So I'm gonna grab a larger piece of cardboard. So let's say one like this, you can see the size difference. Okay, so this would be good if I wanted to do a design that was taller. Now I'm still gonna make sure that it's centered, that I have my corners marked. I'm still gonna scooch in a centimeter from where my lines are. Okay, so I'm still making sure that's lined up to the bottom and then scooched in slightly. 
making sure it's parallel to that side so that it's straight and then scooching in slightly. And then now I could do something like a guitar. Okay, so I've got a much larger area to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna go the same process, trying to pierce through both layers. So I'm pushing down hard. Always keeping my guiding hand out of the way. Okay, so that was easy peasy to cut that out. Now I'm gonna get that outside shape of the guitar. You'll notice I'm really turning the cardboard a lot more than I'm turning the knife. Okay. Now I gotta check, it looks like. Got it mostly cut through. So I'm gonna pop it out. Okay, now I gotta go back over to the hot gluing station. So I've got my little Nicho, my outside shape now. Okay. Whoop, here we are. All right. Got my hot glue gun again. Making sure, oh, perfect. Everything lines up nice. I'm gonna turn this over. And I'm just gonna add thin bead of glue whole way across. If you run out of glue sticks, you can always ask for more glue sticks from me up in the front. So I've got my glue the whole way around here. And then I'm gonna lay my box top on top of that. Ooh, make sure you don't have this little gap. If you do, we can fill that in with some cardboard. So we can just come in and add that extra piece. That's why you wanna measure twice, cut once, and then you might need to scooch it around a little bit. Um, so you can always tack it in the corners. Okay, so I'm just using my glue gun right here to kind of fill in. And now it's ready to paint. Good luck.